Dr. Erwin Goldstein, Director of San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital, is here with his patient, Judith, to share her story about how she got help and how it changed her life. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely. Let's give a quick warning. If you've got little ones in the room, it might be a good time to give them a little activity or a puzzle or a coloring book or something because we're going to talk about some grown-up stuff. But, um, Judith, I want to start with you. You're a 16-year breast cancer survivor. Correct. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous now. Thank you. Very good. Yes. And you underwent... Um, Radiation? Radiation 17, 16 years ago, and then I had a double mastectomy three years ago because I had breast cancer again. Excellent. Uh -huh. And tell me if you will, uh, what kind of issues you dealt with after that. Well, I think what it, a lot of times what happens is people don't understand that, you know, that you have to deal with not having the breasts, and actually a, a really sweet person told me that I would mourn them, and I was not quite prepared for that. And then it's your whole sexuality is involved in that, and so not that you think that breasts are the only thing that makes you a woman, but they're certainly a major part of it. And I really felt there should be a better quality of life, you know, to... I always enjoyed a good sexual life with my husband, and so it was not measuring up and because of the depletion of estrogen and you know testosterone and different other hormones then there were complications and a lot of times that isn't talked about and so it was really wonderful to meet somebody like Dr. Goldstein who yeah absolutely that. Mm -hmm. and Dr. Goldstein I would imagine that Judith is not alone in these feelings that she had that a lot of breast cancer sufferers have the same thing. So Erica, this is good news and good news. There's <laughs> one in eight women who get this horrible disease, but we're diagnosing it really early now, and we're treating it early, and people are surviving longer. And the good news is they're now asking about their sexuality, and we're now able to help them much better. And Judith is an example of somebody who had night sweats, hot flashes, dryness, pain, no interest, but wanted to do something about it. She found an oncologist who would work with us, and we've reached good levels of function, which is great. So what kind of treatment options are out there for women like Judith? So um, I think we start with the local treatments to the local tissues because we don't worry about the medicines getting into the bloodstream and causing problems. And we have non-hormonal treatments that we can use. But Judith herself, uh, because of sort of disabling night sweats and hot flashes and no sleep and really just being sad about the whole thing, actually did uh, systemic hormones, which is uh, something that uh, we have to follow very closely. Every three weeks, Judith gets blood tests, and, we, and she uses, like, not the real dose of medicine, but a smaller dose, and she has to gauge it very carefully. But the, the message is, with appropriate care and follow-up, we can get people to a much better lifestyle. What difference did you see, I'm curious, after you started that treatment? Well, I think, you know, certainly sex was more enjoyable because what happened with the vaginal dryness, you know, it's been, it's very, the pain can be excruciating. Having the night sweats was unbelievable because you just, you're so tired in the morning, and so everything, you know, is affected. And so what's wonderful about this is that there is something, you know, that you can do in order to benefit yourself because I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm 64 years old, and I still think I'm entitled to a great life. Yes, you are. <laughs> and, yes, you are. And so that was good, you know. So, yes, it's, it's definitely on an improvement. We're not exactly where we want to be, you know, uh, but certainly, yes, a um, hundred times better than it was. Yeah, she starts yeah. to get back interest, starts to get back arousal, and guess what else happens? You can tell us. She's starting to get back the, the big O, which is really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Been around for an awful long time. Mm. I'm curious if a, if a lot of women know that these treatments are out there. For a lot of people, just sort of suffer in silence and just think this is just the way it is. I'm getting older and I'm just going to live with this. Right, and I do think that that's you know certainly women coming up, you know, the older generation. But because breast cancer for early detection is so important, I think that the young people need to know that that this is also available for them. And so yeah, there I'm sure there's a lot of people out there thinking, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Yeah, um, there are people who get breast cancer at age 30s and 40s. Right. This is oh, a yeah. population that, mm -hmm. that watches young people, so uh, um, that happens to them too. Are these issues unique to breast cancer survivors, or are we seeing this in other types of cancers? All cancer survivors, survivors. so yes. leukemia, mm -hmm. rectal cancer, uh, bowel cancer, um, all kinds of cancers. All the above. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. For I appreciate me. it. I can't believe you just said your age. <laughs> 
not that old at all. Thank you, you look very much. Now, I'm just amazed. Bravo, bravo. Mm. Okay, so to get in touch with Dr. Goldstein of San Diego Sexual Medicine, located at Alvarado Hospital, all you have to do is go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on that scene on tab.